Hey, good afternoon. This is Pete from FigLight.com, and today I'm going to look at a fig called Edith's Raspberry Jam. All right, this is my Edith's Raspberry Jam fig tree. Uh, yep, I grew this from a cutting over the winter. And it's uh, just starting to produce figs now. It's it's uh, September 7th. Looks like this fig's almost ready. And then I just picked one a few minutes ago that I think is ripe. I picked one earlier, uh, maybe like a week ago. And unfortunately, it wasn't quite ripe. So I had to toss it out. The tree's been growing pretty well. Um, you can see the leaves here. I've got a little bit of rust on the leaves. Uh, but you can see the leaf shape, at least. Yeah, growing, growing well and uh, starting to produce some figs now. So I'm happy to have at least gotten a few figs off this tree. So let's go check out the fig. All right, here it is. Edith's Raspberry Jam. This fig is also called the Edith Lamb Fig. Um, I guess it was originally called the Edith Lamb Fig and uh, it was um, renamed at some point. And uh, I bought it under the name of Edith's Raspberry Jam. Uh, but either name is, it's the same fig. Uh, so you can see a little bit of an open eye there and a little bit of uh, cracking on the skin. Um, it just has a nice, uh, pretty look to it. It's a nice looking fig, uh, medium size. So let me go ahead and cut this open. All right, this is my first time, uh, well, I shouldn't say my first time trying this. I did, I did get one earlier cut it open and it just wasn't ripe, unfortunately. So I tried to let this one hang hang longer to make sure it's ripe. And uh, yeah, that's looking much better than the one I picked before. It's still a little light in color. Kind of, uh, I mean, normally when I cut open a berry fig, I expect it to look a little darker than that. Um, so it's still a little light, but that's looking much better than the first one I picked, which was just a clearly underripe fig. Um, so let me get a photo of this. All right, got my photos. Let me cut this up. This is a kind of a, an interior that almost reminds me of a Violet de Bordeaux type, um, just the look of it, except that it's a little lighter than normal. So hopefully this has a good taste. This will be my first time trying a, what appears to be a ripe uh, Edith's ra Raspberry Jam fig. Mm, oh wow. Yeah, it's got a good flavor. Uh, <laughs> so being as, as light colored as it was, I, I just kind of expected it would be a little underripe. But it's got a really sweet, uh, a sweet berry flavor. Uh, more sweetness to it than berry. So not really a Violet de Bordeaux um, type at all um, in terms of flavor. Um, I'm not really tasting raspberry per se. Um, for me, it's just uh, a nice, really sweet berry flavor, but but more, as I, as I mentioned, more sweetness than berry. Um, you know, sometimes it's hard. Raspberry is, uh, you know, it's 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 a more uncommon flavor for a fig, and uh, than like strawberry, for example, and sometimes a berry fig will have kind of a mixture of different flavors. For me, um, it's hard to put a finger on like, you know, if I had to lean towards a single berry flavor, it would probably be more strawberry for me. Um, but it's not like a, not like a, a pure strawberry flavor. Um, and it's, and it's mostly a, I mean, sweetness is the main flavor that I get out of that fig, um, but it does have a nice, a nice berry flavor as well. So I should mention that the fig that I just ate, the Edith's Raspberry Jam, was an uncaprified fig, uh, so it wasn't pollinated by the fig wasp. And a lot of times, uh, a fig can have a really special flavor when it is caprified, but then when it's not caprified, it um, it may not have that same sort of flavor. So this may, it may be the case here where the caprified version of Edith's Raspberry Jam has a really strong uh, raspberry flavor. 
Um, and who knows, maybe that raspberry flavor will develop um, in my figs here. But in this case, for an uncaprified uh, Edis raspberry jam, um, it, it just didn't have a, it didn't have a strong raspberry flavor for me. It was more of just a, more of just a, you know, just a nice berry flavor. Um, so, but good. I mean, a good fig for sure. A, a really good taste. Uh, just not, ne not necessarily a raspberry taste. Um, so, yeah, so that was uh, Edith's Raspberry Jam. If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and check out my website, www.figlife.com.